So myself, Morgs and our crew have arrived from Delhi into Ahmedabad. You've got the bustling streets behind us. Why are we here? Need you ask. It's India-Pakistan tomorrow down the road at the Modi Stadium. It holds over 130,000. And if it's a full house, wow. It's going to be absolutely unbelievable. I've never been to an India-Pakistan game before and all you hear about is the atmosphere, the noise and the emotion in the game. I think that's going to be the key to the whole lot of it. There's so much to build up. India only played a couple of days ago. It might feel a little mm. bit rushed, but everybody is talking about it. Even walking through the airport, it was absolutely bouncing today. So I'm excited. There will be a load of nerves around in both camps and it'll be whoever holds their emotion the best will probably perform best. When you're in an environment like that, let's take it from India's point of view with the expectation and the crowd support, Pakistan won't have too many supporters in there. Do you have to embrace that atmosphere? Yeah, you certainly do. Well, bear in mind, Pakistan are coming from Delhi, where they've had a record run chase, confidence is high, and Rizwan said in his press conference that the atmosphere there was actually felt like Raul Pindi with the support that they had. So the stark contrast from Delhi to here is going to be deafening. If they hit a four, take a wicket, there will be absolute silence. So they'll need to address that. And it's very difficult to break habits that you're used to getting from a reward, like a clap or a cheer. Yeah. So various different things. So it'll be definitely be a challenge. Right, well, we we'll talk about the answer all we want. We know why India Pakistan is such a big deal, but just looking at the quality of cricketers on show, I've got the teams from the last games they played. So India, Rohit, Ishan Kishan, Virat, Shreyas, Raul, Hardik, Jadeja, Sardul, Kuldeep, Bumrah and Siraj. Abdullah Shafiq for Pakistan with Imam, Barber, Rizwan with that brilliant 100 the other day. Saw Shaquille, Iftikhar, Shadab, Nawaz, Hassan Ali, Shaheen Shah Afridi and Harris Rauf. I mean, that is just cricket royalty. Absolutely box office when you think of the names on both team sheets and not only that but they're, they're in form Indian captain Rohit Sharma scoring 100 you know building his confidence not only that it was the fastest ever 100 for an Indian at a, at a World Cup Virat looks in sublime form you know you go back to that first game against Australia where Mitchell Marsh dropped him if he ca catches that ball it's a completely different start for Virat Kohli but you cannot give players like that too many chances so building confidence and partnerships with the likes of KL Rahul who's played magnificently well is just brilliant for India confidence building go and post or chase whatever you want but the fact is they're playing against a side that is equally as good talent probably not the experience and you know Abdullah Shafiq has come in for his first ever game scored a hundred in a record run chase and in a partnership where Mohammed Rizwan would normally take the lead and be the aggressor he was actually the one that was the aggressor and Mohammed Rizwan just picked off good uh, um, loose balls along the way and and built a partnership that was eventually a match winning partnership so both sides when it comes to batting department and bowling department are full of strength. If we look at the bowling side of things so would you say one side just edges it or not? Yeah, here I I'd probably lean towards India's bowling lineup as being more stronger and in form, bringing Jasprit Boomer back in in such a timely manner. It's about four or five months ago back when they played in Dublin, he came and sort of eased his way back in with one eye on building towards a World Cup. He is just the game changer. Four wickets against Afghanistan, building pressure, taking wickets at various different stages. I think he's probably the game changer in both sides and that's nothing against Pakistan's bowling lineup I just think the balance of India's lineup with Jadeja, Kuldi, Shardul, Thakur coming back in, Hardik Pandya can bowl and bowl well at the moment is key for India. Ashwin didn't play the last game, might you pick him tomorrow and will conditions change because they probably did in the first game that we did which was England against New Zealand. Well it's only the real game that we have to go on for this time of the year in India and yes I totally agree with you they have changed during that game so it, it is vitally important that you don't start tentatively like England do so if you lose the toss and you're thinking conditions are going to change it will be imperative that they don't go into their shell and succumb to the pressure and emotion like we saw in Adelaide in the T20 World yep. Cup final so I'd envisage 
India going with the same team, no Ashwin for a better balanced team. How much of a challenge is this game for the captains? I think a serious, serious challenge. And, and again, I've never experienced that type of hype, pressure and level of expectation outside of performance. You, know, you talk about uh, bragging rights, the, the politics that are involved, <laughs> the prime ministers are going to be there. So it's going to be absolutely crazy. And, you know, Rohit Sharma is quite cool and, and always represents him quite well, but easily Barbar can match that cool and calm nature on the field. If that can rub off on the rest of the team, you will see catches being held, direct hits being like ch uh, changing the game. So it's imperative that they manage their emotions well. Billions of eyeballs will be on this one tomorrow. We've got a few eyeballs here because IPL winner Owen Morgan, World Cup winning captain Owen Morgan, tends to draw a bit of a crowd. See you Sunday down the road. It should be fantastic. India, Pakistan.